did achieve a lot. Uh-huh. Uh, some I didn't, but uh, hopefully 2023 will be well. Sadly, 2023 did not begin well for LGBTQ activist, model, and fashion designer Edwin Chiloba as he was found stuffed inside a metallic box along the Kipenyo Katinga Road in Wasingishu County. Let's get into it. Welcome to AFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. A man whose lifeless body was found stuffed inside a metallic box along the Kipenyo Katinga Road in Wasingishu County was identified by police as LGBTQ activist and model Edwin Chiloba. Boda Boda riders saw a vehicle whose registration number was concealed, dumped the box along the road, and they alerted the police. When police opened the box, they found the man's decomposing body dressed in a woman's clothes. His his body was taken to the Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital, awaiting post-mortem to establish the cause of death. Mr. Chiloba was famous within the streets of Eldoret Town. The last Instagram post that he shared on December 29, 2022, indicated that he had hoped to achieve multiple goals in 2023, among them growing his fashion brand and working with major companies. Let's have a look at that last video that he had shared of the hopes that he had for 2023 and also just how his 2022 was. Edwin? Uh-huh. How was your 2022? My 2022 has been amazing, uh-huh. was nice, uh-huh. I a lot. Uh-huh. And we thank God. Did you achieve some of the 2022's resolution? Yeah, I did achieve a lot. Uh-huh. Uh, some I didn't, but uh, hopefully 2023 will be well. well he saw a lot of things this year from you, uh, especially on Instagram, your projects. What are some of the major projects that you're proud of throughout the year? First of all, I'm so proud of my school project that I did. It was so amazing when I was among the top. Uh-huh. And also, my work being published in a magazine, wow. which gave me a platform, uh-huh. and also been in articles. So wow, <laughs> that is something major, right? Yeah. How are you so far? Good. You're good, you're sure? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, well, uh, it's been a very tough year, the elections and all that. But, well, let us know, what are the most influential people or people who you met, close friends, who have actually changed things that you used to do and see them in a different way? Oh, first of all, uh, uh, I've met a lot of people this year. They spread love, like when you're in space, they just love your energy. And the people that I've met are like Michelle Talami, oh, she's Talami. my best friend, Venominal, wow. Nick Denda. Like they have taught me in a way that uh, to see life in a different way, a perspective, and also the way I do my things. So, what about me? Yeah, you too. <laughs> <laughs> what have I changed? Yeah, you've changed me. Like you, I've learned a lot from you, uh-huh. your heart, and it has really inspired me to keep doing me. Wow. Lot. Okay, enough about us. Uh huh. What are some of the things that you had planned throughout the year and they didn't go as you wanted, but you have learned something out of them? Some of the failures of things that you wanted to do. What are the lessons that you've learned? Okay, uh, I've learned a lot from the failures and it has taught me that never give up in what you're doing and also to accept the mistake that you've done and just move on with life. You know, yeah, it has really inspired me, it has fueled me acceptance and just move on with life. Wow, that is some real good advice, right from the heart, people. Uh Uh-huh. It's about uh, two days to 2023. What are some of the major things that you'd love to happen to you in the year? to come okay uh i have a lot i have a, a big dream uh to see my works being showcased maybe in like, new york and also to be that big fashion high gun you know i have a lot of things that i really want to achieve uh to fuel my brand and also to inspire people to be just the best fashion of themselves like i really love to see people just doing themselves and doing what they love spreading love and just being themselves that's my my uh, my really happiness yeah. yeah okay uh what is uh a lot of 
people are trying to get into the fashion industry and all that uh modeling to we, we realize you're doing both of them so what advice would you give to any of the upcoming or people who are looking into doing such stuff in the industry coming next year what are the we see you you're doing amazing job how do i really want to be a model i really want to be a fashion designer what can i do i just my advice to them is just just keep doing them like don't copy don't compete with anyone just be that authentic self when nothing like being authentic whatever you feel inside you do that thing no never care about what other people will say their opinions because no matter what you do in this world people gonna talk so just keep doing you and be yourself well <laughs> happy new year to you Eden. happy new year about four months ago, Mr. Chiloba was attacked by unknown assailants, but he luckily survived. In the incident, people against his LGBTQ lifestyle pounced on him and beat him up. Following this incident, he suffered injuries, including a large cut on his lips and blood was trickling down from the upper part of his face. And his clothes were also torn and dirty, and there were scrapes and bruises all over his face. An Instagram user by the name Biubo and Kat narrated how they reached out to him trying to inquire what had transpired and he responded by saying that he would talk when he is ready. Barely four months later, they have brutally murdered you in the most uncouth of ways and my heart is shattered. I know you fought, Bubo and Kat posted on his Instagram account. According to Biubwa, the deceased fought for his rights boldly and his death was a big blow to many of his fans. He put out, words cannot explain the pain in my heart. We will try to fight for your justice. Best way we have access to, we will try. It's not okay that when we die, we have to think to fight because we don't just die. We are murdered. Perhaps you have come across the photos of how Edwin was found and they're across all social media uh, platforms. But Chiloba's last moments publicly were when he was in an entertainment joint on New Year's Eve where he was evidently having so much fun. Let me just play that short clip. And so I have muted the music for copyright reasons, but you can see he was really having fans, perhaps with his friends there. And he looked really, really happy and looking forward to the new year. And so as Edwin Chiloba was found dead and the clothes that he had on are the same clothes that you can see him donning in this particular night where he was having fun with friends. And also this was the last time that he was seen publicly. We want to send our deepest condolences to the friends, uh, family, and also the people who knew Edwin Chiloba. Uh, many people have been shaken, including netizens on social media who are calling this heinous act out. Kenyans across all social media platforms are demanding justice for Edwin Chiloba, including um, celebrities are also speaking up about it. And uh, this is not the first time that we've gotten to hear crimes against members of the LGBTQ community. You also might remember the lady I believe her name was Lumumba who also uh, passed away there are also incidents that we have also reported in this channel uh, things that have happened to a transgender woman Latoya Johnston as well but with that being said Kenyans are hoping that justice will be served and the police will be able to get to the bottom of this as they continue with the investigation here at AFOX we want to send our deepest condolences to the family and friends of Edwin Chiloba and I will be following this story for you guys in case of any update definitely i'll bring it right here i'll see you on the next one bye bye